Little kid or drunk adult, we all do dumb things. Sometimes when we do, we're a little kid. Other times we are a drunk adult. Can you tell the difference? We got uh, Shelly here who uh, had something very interesting happen to her and I guess got a little too close. Turned into something bad. What was it, Shelly? Yeah, so I got bit by a monkey when I tried to hug it. <laughs> Ouch. This is oh your act, my Jay Bird. Gosh, oh my you goodness. Gotta watch out of those godless monkeys. Okay. What do you think? Was uh, Shelly a little kid or a drunk adult when she did this? I feel like a little kid. I, I, I think that's the first way to go because, yeah, you're a little kid. You're at the fair and that monkey with a lollipop is around. You want to hug it? Okay, gonna go a uh, little kid. Yeah, I'll go little kid. Yeah, it feels like a little kid kind of thing. I'll say the same. I was a little kid. My friend had a pet monkey, but it was really mean. I tried to hug it one day, and it bit me in the neck. Oh. I had to go right to the hospital, and uh, I'm still scared of monkeys as an adult because of this incident. In fact, I think at this point, I might even be part monkey. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. That's really good. She she comes. She gives us a monkey cry. Now that's yeah. a cool call. That was a good yeah. one. Thank you. Yeah, good. Y'all, that, that, that's the textbook right there. That's a good <laughs> monkey stuff. Monkey bitter in the neck. Mm. That is scary. Oh, monkey pox. What if the monkey would have hit like her jugular vein? Well, I think I'd be a monkey murder. Yeah. Thank you very much for that, Shelley. Got uh, Vince <laughs> who uh, sent in this little kid or drunk adult on the WRMF app mic drop feature. Okay, what dumb thing did you do here, Vince? I covered a baby in chocolate syrup. Covered a baby in chocolate syrup. I mean, on purpose? Well, that's just odd. Okay. You better be a little kid. <laughs> it's so creepy if you're a drunk adult. If you're a drunk Dude. adult and you did that. Dude. Oh, you have gosh. really jumped the shark with your drinking. I think AA is next. I mean, it sounds like he took chocolate and just painted the baby with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say just out of hope. I'm going to go with a uh, little kid on this. What do you think, Virginia? Oh, I'm going to go little kid, too. I hope it's not a drunk adult. It, 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 it needs to be little kid. Needs to be little kid. Is it? I was really drunk <gasps> one night, oh. and I came home, and I decided that I'm going to make myself this huge ice cream sundae. I go into the living room. I've got, like, 18 scoops of ice cream, and i got the whole chocolate syrup thing. And my sister and her daughter had fallen asleep in front of the TV, and this colorful kids show that they were watching had me completely hypnotized and i just kind of sat down and i poured chocolate syrup all over my sunday now and i set it down i just chocolate syrup fell over and just started dripping all over this poor baby and then my sister woke up and flipped out on me <laughs> the entire kid was covered in chocolate syrup okay all right that so. baby needs to be in a crib doesn't it uh, it sounds like they fell asleep maybe on the floor, and then the chocolate syrup kind of fell over. And, it happens. Uh, yeah. Look, sometimes your baby's on the floor. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I got no baby. Babies go on the floor but a lot. I, I do have chocolate syrup. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a baby, I would see. I could see food getting on your baby. I would have to really. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to give this curse to my baby. I, I try to cut down on the snacks for him or her. <laughs> Okay, we got uh, Kimberly had sent this in on the WRMF app for little kid or drunk adult. What dumb thing did you do, Kimberly? I ran through a hurricane while I was completely naked. Okay. It had to be drunk adult, right? I was a drunk adult. Yes. My friends had this oh. big hurricane party, <laughs> and oh my gosh, we were all so completely hammered drunk. My boyfriend at the time dared me to run through the hurricane naked. <laughs> so... I was splashing through a puddle and running around, and something that I didn't see snagged my foot, and I went face first into the pavement. I knocked out my front tooth, and oh. it was a really bad storm, so the dentist didn't open for another six days. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, my job opened up in three, so I had uh, explaining to do. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know a guy that knocked out a tooth. It's definitely life-changing. <laughs> We don't know if he was a little kid or drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? You were trying to depress uh, mouse traps with your tongue? 
Yeah, he was uh, setting uh, mouse traps off on his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> it was doing really good. Yeah, you're doing great, actually. I mean, I'm, I'm going to revisit that later. You're yeah. an athlete. Thank you. Uh, you know, she does have a really good lesson, though, you can learn from Kimberly is that, you know, people act a fool during a hurricane and you get drunk and you run around outside naked. But, man, if you do anything to hurt yourself, you could be in a bad situation because, one, a lot of times the roads are blocked. You can't even get through. And then trying to get services for something like that, and you can't get your tooth fixed. If the hurricane's still happening, emergency services a lot of times won't come out because yeah. they don't want to put their paramedics or firefighters at risk. Oh, yeah. I remember it was devastating. I could not get anybody to do, deliver pizza. And I remember it was the first, it was a Chinese restaurant that opened up and it was in Boca and we all went there. We're like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you for telling your truth. It, it was tough to talk about. <laughs> yes. Okay, we got uh, one more here. Little kid or drunk adult. This is uh, Drew. What uh, crazy thing happened to you? I got into a fist fight at Best Buy after yanking someone's pants down. You got into a fight at Best Buy after yanking somebody's pants down. That feels like... Ooh. I mean, again, you should be a kid. What are you, what are you doing? A, well, you're drunk. You're probably hopped up on something else. It's fun to de pants people. But too. okay, but it, it led to a fight, which <laughs> makes me believe that it probably was somebody you didn't know. Because if it was your buddy, they'd be like, come on, man, it's so funny. But if it was somebody you didn't know, that's going to lead to a fight. And if that's going to happen, you shouldn't be a drunk adult when you're doing that. That feels more like a little kid to me. I mean, that's pure balls. If you're going up to adults <laughs> that you don't know and then doing that's that, that's crazy. <laughs> Pantsing them. I'm going to go with a little kid. What do you think, Virginia? I'm going drunk adult. Drunk adult. Bird. Drunk adult. Drunk adult. Okay. Two orders for drunk adult. What were you here, Drew? I was a little kid. Oh. I was playing a video game. And these older kids rolled up and started pushing me around. And so I hit one of them in the face with the controller and then yanked the other kids' pants down. And then they all freaked out. They took off running. But they caught me in front of the Chinese buffet and beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds like something out of a movie.